am pissed. <sighs> okay. So I haven't recorded anything, but my cousin's been here for like two weeks. We just been hanging out, living, enjoying life. She's actually leaving today and I decided to vlog. <laughs> We're going to the mall. I need an outfit for an upcoming date. And um, I also wanna go to the Halloween store because I wanna carve pumpkins. So I wanna get some nice pumpkin carving kits. But first we're about to go get some donuts because we haven't had any donuts in a while. My lips are dry. We haven't even had any donuts from Revelation Donuts, so that's where we're heading. Oh my gosh, there's a freaking line to get into the donut spot. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Donuts, it's donuts. Donut. <laughs> 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 got that pumpkin. Yeah, I'll take a one little bite and see. It looks real thick. Pie. Mm. There's a lot going on on there. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. mm. I wonder what it would be like if it was like real warm. Mm. I'd probably bust bus. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know, I'm not really a sweet person in the morning type of person. Mm. Like this is too much to be eating at. This, I mean, even though it's like eleven, almost eleven, but this is still the first thing we're eating. Yeah, yeah. I need some actual food. Is that ain't it? Okay, so we were driving by, and there's a little farmers market over here at the mm -hmm. Carter Center, and uh, I've been here before. It's like you know, produce that type of farmers market, for real farmers market. They have some apple cider. Last time I came, they had some really good apple cider. So it's apple cider season. So let's see if we. Why you stop walking? You <laughs> stop walking because no. that car kept like eventually. You think it will? She got it. She it. You know these people don't be knowing how to drive. <laughs> she been had it though. I wonder if the mushroom person is here. I'll have to get some mushrooms too. I see it. Make sure you're right. Can you jump in the other side? I'm sorry. 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 Somebody got some apple cider around this joint. Somebody. Georgia apples, that's them. Oh, they, they look kind of empty over there. I don't know. To the top. Right, it's not looking <laughs> so good. Oh no. <laughs> no, they only got apples. 
there's no apple cider. Huh? Yeah, it's not it's it's not looking so good. It's not looking good. Nut butters, duck meat, eggs, big daddy's biscuits, biscuits. Well, cheeses, pecans, flowers. Oh, these are so pretty. Ooh, that is so pretty. Fifteen dollars. Mm. Oh, here's the mushroom people. What I got lion's mane too. Mission abort slash mission fail. There was no uh, apple cider, and there was the mushroom line. I didn't feel like waiting in because I'm freaking hungry. I'm not gonna make it. So let's, let's get on to our destination because I need some food. No, I don't know what I'm about to eat. I don't really have a plan. <laughs> Dressing up for Halloween? I'm only here for some damn pumpkin carving stuff. But, uh, you know, it's interesting to look around. All right. This is all we want. I need something good. I'm about the designs first. Those are kind of. Oh, got stencils in here. Yeah. These are a little involved. What's this one? Do you got stencils in it? No. It's in here. Just <laughs> oh, that one's nice. This one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'm what carving like what? ten pumpkins? <laughs> <laughs> You ain't gonna go get the tea. Gonna get the tea. The teeth is wild. The teeth is kind of dope, yeah. It is kind of dope. Alright, so the white book definitely looks cool. Because, like, that's a whole body. The face is definitely cool on that one. The knife is cool. Even the words are cool. But that got the scary uh, mask on right there. You want to look around now? You want to? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't participated in that one before. Probably since I lived in Cape. Mm. I think I've only dressed up once in life. 
But I used to give out candy. I used to carve pumpkins and give out candy to the children. Mm. Decorate the yard all spooky. We used to have the best house on the block. No cap. <laughs> no cap? For real. That's Nico. That's his whole childhood. That's his whole childhood. <laughs> I remember one year we had like the uh, Terry was there. He had, we had like the smoke machines and he's. He was like one of those people that was scaring people. Oh, sure. Yeah. He didn't get punched or nothing. No. He didn't get punched. <laughs> Shout out to that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people with big ass heads. This the fact that you can fit with it with your hat on it. And it's still too big. And it's still too big. First time. Yeah, some of the boys I was just texting, we do the farmer's markets on Saturday mornings. So we have this in late open on Saturdays right now through de December. So they're on the way here. The boys, they had a huge morning in the market, as you can imagine. Let me let you try some sauces. We are a clean eating establishment, so we are gluten, dairy, nuts, soy, and egg free. Everything we do here is made from scratch. Um, these are our three vegan gluten free sauces, and basically, you choose your sauce. These are our arepas I'm going to let you feel. These are the halal meat. These are the, all the vegan ones. These both come with a free small side. Those are all vegan. These are our bowls and our kind of plate bowls you can build. So, um, and we change these frequently. But let me let you try these. So the white sauce is our version of a ranch. Um, the browner sauce is our curry. And the, um, the brighter orange is our sriracha. <laughs> You need to feel it. Oh, it's like yeah. a mashed potato. So oh, a yeah. lot of people have had a repos that are more like corn grits, mm -hmm. or they think it's like bread, but it's not. It's more like a soft, mushy type feeling that we stuff. Um, and so we can, you can do um, all three sauces. We call that the hat trick now. Mm -hmm. You can do one sauce. Um, most people do, for example, the curry, which we call the voodoo with the white sauce, which we named the voodoo goo, or the sriracha with the white sauce, which is the original from five years ago. That's what everybody loves. Mm -hmm. How you feel? I feel good. How are you? How you feel about this choice? We gonna free, right? We are gonna free. I think. Um, I mean, I'm a serious person. She lost. Yeah, she lost me multiple times. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's we'll see. <laughs> oh, it's a whole experience. small sip, not even a lot. What is that? What is that? What? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> Doesn't it taste like That's like the sewer? <laughs> <laughs> that tastes like Thank you. Yeah. Potatoes. Potatoes are 
cold. Yeah. Okay. okay. Passive aggressive, oh, it's like ridiculous. I said the potatoes were cold. Oh, you should have told me because I thought the sauce on top is cold kept because for health cold reasons. I'm like, no, the potatoes were cold. Oh, you should have told me. I could have just da 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 da. Well, I, did, did you didn't hear that? She said, Well, I'm all by myself because one's at the thing and the other one just decided to call off and didn't tell me. And I'm like, Lady, what is wrong with her? Girl, you She's better get going through a lot. She sounds like the owner. Girl, you better get out that parking spot because she come out here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to roll down my window so bad and be like, yo. No, let's see I if mean, she going in there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't no. go in there, lady. Let's see. Don't go. Um, I mean, she's going through a lot. She you can tell her like, like the business. Oh, shit. Is she coming out? Oop. There she go. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Cause she not, she not gonna tell her where to go and where to park. She coming in and out. Yeah, yeah. she's definitely having a hard time with this business. Uh, whether she's managing it or owning, like she's wearing all the frustrations and putting it on the customers. Cause why do I need to know your employee went out to a wedding and didn't tell you like, I'm just, I'm, I just wanted to pay for the water. Right. Oh, you should have told me. Oh, you should have told me. Oh, well, I would have. Oh, I could have. Oh, well. You didn't, though. Like, and I get it because, like, you know, people came in after us. You got a little busy. You're trying to get their plates. It's okay. Just, like, let's move on. Let's go on. Yeah, her alone would make me never. Now, if, even if the food was delicious, her yeah. alone would make me never want to come back here. Yeah, it really didn't matter if I bit into the food or not. Yeah. I'm good. I'll look at her. Look, she's, doing, she's doing her doing her thing. I wish I could zoom in, but yeah, that's her. She's a lot. It's a lot to handle. Get your finger out there, plate. She wants people to like that food so bad. Uh huh. Yeah. She's shopping for me because I don't know how to shop. I don't know clothes, so we got her being my stylist. <laughs> yeah, it's a top and a bottom. Feeling a little furry. Yeah. Outfit, but I have this reminds me of your dress. This mm -hmm. is cute, though. This mm -hmm. is cute. Though. Oh, I'll wear this. Oh, that is cute. That's cute. Is that kind of? I don't like the split, though. The well, split it's not. Is, is that how yours was? Mine does have a split this high, yeah. Hmm. But I have sleeves. This one yeah, does it good. doesn't. What's this other color back here?
I like how thick it is. I don't mind this either. Yeah, that's you. That's you. Too wide. Put it on your shoulders. I don't like a steel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I wish it was longer. I probably like the other one because it's longer. Yeah. What Like. I mean, it feels basic on you, but like, I mean, it's, it's a nice little like dress where it's regular dinner. Yep. Yeah. Well, my cousin is gone. She left me. She had to go back to Dallas. Today is actually the next day. I dropped her off last night. I didn't do anything after I got back home. Today I've just been editing all day and now I am about to get myself dressed because I'm going out to eat for my friend's daughter's, we're celebrating my friend's daughter's birthday. She just turned 30. So I'm going to a birthday dinner. Um, so I'm just about to get dressed, do my hair. We haven't even talked about my hair, but let's chat about it real quick. So as you all know, I was a, a ball baddie for a very long time, almost like six years, about about five and a half years. And then just recently, you know, I decided I want to grow my hair to get braids. But then once I started growing my hair out, I realized like I didn't want to go back to cutting my hair off again. I take that back. I didn't want to go back to wearing a low haircut again because I felt like that phase, I'm kind of like out of that phase and I was just ready to do something different with my hair. So I decided to go back to a pixie haircut. You kind of saw it, well you couldn't see it for real, but you kind of saw it in my travel vlog when I went to Cancun for the Hip Hop Fest. I had just got my hair cut before I went there. Um, but my hair was a disaster there because of the humidity. And also, I didn't put like a traditional relaxer in my hair. I did a method called the Japanese straightening, hair straightening, thermal, whatever it's called. Um, so I did that myself and I just be experimenting with my hair. So I was like, I'm gonna just try this because I wasn't ready to put a whole relaxer in my hair because I have a very sensitive scalp and this does not like irritate or burn your scalp at all. So I tried that just to like ease my way back into, you know, rocking a short pixie. But what I didn't realize is that the Japanese hair straightening straightens your hair to the point that it does not hold curl. I mean like it holds curl for like two seconds like I literally have to curl my hair every day because it's back to being straight and then another thing that I messed up on is when I put it in um, after you straighten it's a whole process the issue that I had where I messed up is after you do the whole treatment you're not supposed to wash your hair or get it wet or do nothing for three days well a little miss me had a little date so i was like i can't just because it was just straight it was no hairstyle no cut i hadn't got my hair cut yet i was like i cannot go out on a date looking like this like because you're not supposed to straighten it you're not supposed to put it in a ponytail i mean you're not supposed to put it in a ponytail you're not supposed to get wet none of that i was like okay no i'm going on a date i'm going to do something so i put a little ponytail in my head and i it didn't stay as straight as I needed it to. Let's just say that before I got my hair cut. So that's why in Cancun, my hair was a frizzy mess. Okay, a mess. But I'm gonna show you all, while I go get in the shower, I'll show you all what the process is of that Japanese hair straightening. And then once I'm finished, we'll come back and we'll curl my little pixie and then y'all can get dressed and get ready with me or whatever that is and things that, you know, the girlies be doing on hair. But get into this hair straightening video. Yeah, that's the fro. 
So as you can see in the previous clip, you actually start on freshly shampooed hair. So your hair is wet when you apply this. You put it in four sections and then you apply the straightening cream. As you can see, this was the last section to get the cream on so it's not fully straightened out yet. This is a very involved process. It takes hours, it's about 10 steps. And in the salons, it costs about $500. And little old me thought I could just do it at home and did it and that's exactly what I did. So after you let the straightening cream sit for about maybe 20 to 30 minutes, I think I did 30 minutes so my back section could get straight. You wash it out, here's me all washed out and then you actually blow dry it. So then after you blow dry it, then you straighten it and then on to the next. Okay, so here's my hair straightened. My hair is so thin nowadays. Oh, you get older, it's just things just change. But, ooh, how thin it is at the top up there. My hair is so thin. I'm worried about getting a haircut, I really am. But this is what my hair looks like after. And you gotta keep in mind, like I haven't had my hair cut. I haven't had my hair cut since December of last year. And, and I haven't even had my ends clipped because my hair has been braided since then. And I've just been wearing it natural. I haven't worn it straight. I haven't gone anywhere to get it professionally done. So this is just where it's at. The ends are definitely split. The ends definitely need to be trimmed. It actually feels great. Like it feels so soft. It's, I mean, except the ends. The ends are frizzy as hell because they are split and they need to be um, trimmed as you can see. But like in here, it feels so soft. Oh my gosh, my hair is so thin. Oh, I'm, I'm worried about getting a haircut. I really am. Okay, so now the next step is to apply the neutralizer. And I have to wash my hair again. It's a lot of steps. My hair is so thin. I'm nervous. But yeah, I am going to apply the neutralizer and then we'll see what happens. This is going to be a very quick little I'm not really curling my hair a whole lot cuz uh I don't have that much time so all we did was just to mow down just smooth out some of this top part and put a little bit of curl back here and that's about it just using a little Taraji Keep Shining. I don't even know what hair products to use yet, but I'm trying to figure it out as I go. So just a little comb out, just a little bit of curl. So yeah, as y'all can see from that, uh, As y'all can see from that video, my hair was very damaged, very, very damaged. And that's because I haven't had a haircut since, uh, I haven't, I wish I had bigger curl, flat irons. I haven't had a haircut since December of last year. So I've just been growing my hair out, getting braids, no trims, no nothing in between, so. My hair is really damaged, um, thinning. I don't know if that's an age thing. I don't know what that is, me not taking care of my hair. Um, but I had some thinning with my, whatchamacallit, hair type, so that is what it is, which I'm not used to because my hair was always super thick. Like before, when my hair was a lot longer or when I had a short haircut before, um, my hair has always been super thick. So now at this big age of 43, my hair is not as thick as it once was. So that is definitely an adjustment. Flat iron out this top a little bit just to smooth out some of these frizzies. And then I'm just wearing a little dress and um, 
a little light beat with a red lip. Something very simple. You know, Sundays, I usually be chilling in the house. That was my plan for today, but this came about and I was like, okay, of course I'll go. So here we are. So yeah, I'll be back after I finish curling my hair. Okay, so my hair is done. It's very simple, very pixie-ish. Um, I need to hurry up. I'm not doing no real makeup, for real, for real. Literally just putting some powder on, do my eyebrows and throwing on a lash and a red lip. But that's all I've got. So, I'm gonna get my face together. Now I know black people don't be on time, but I like to be on time. I pride myself on being on time. So I'm really trying to hurry up so I can get there. I got about a little bit of a drive. Okay, finish makeup, I'll be right back. Okay, here is the outfit. Can you all see these boots? I don't know if y'all can see. I didn't wanna, I thought the boots was gonna look better with this, but I don't really like the way it looks with the boot, but I'm not changing, I'ma just roll with it, so. Oh, OOTD, I'm running late, so I gotta go, bye. Listen, I am pissed. First of all, I hate Atlanta restaurants that want to be a club. The music is too loud. And I know, I'm a little older, okay? I realize I'm a little older now. That's not my vibe, that's not my scene. It was like a list of what you can't wear, you can't wear this, you can't wear that. And when I pulled up and I saw the people coming out, I'm like, that. it made it sound like you needed to look like a little something, a little dressed a little somewhat to go in there. When I pulled up and I saw the people coming out, I was like, well, okay. Everything that you said that you're not supposed to wear, these people had on. Anyhow, that's neither here nor there. That don't matter. I wear what I want to wear. Whatever. Like I said, the music was super loud. Like, you can't even talk to each other. It's like a club. Hookah, of course. I despise hookah, but it's, it's, I get it. Hookah's going to be around. People are going to smoke hookah. Whatever. I just prefer to not go to restaurants that have a DJ play loud music and have hookah because it's more of a club vibe. It's not a restaurant to me. Anyhow, the service was terrible. It took us, I, okay. Since the music is so loud, I think the servers need to go above and beyond to make sure that they're understanding what the person is asking for or that they can hear you. Cause it's like my lips is moving, but you didn't understand. You didn't hear what I said, but you acted like you did. So I ordered a salad, the house salad, which let me look this up. Cause I want to make sure that I'm not tripping. Okay. I ordered the house salad and it said, it said asparagus, avocado, cucumber, radish, tomato, blue cheese, romaine, lettuce, and a house vinaigrette. I said, no cheese. Okay. $15 for this salad. It took an over an hour for me to get my salad. And then I also, okay. I can't even think straight. And then I also ordered, I asked about the tostones. I said, okay, I want this tostones. Does the aioli come on top or is it on the side? She said, it's on the side. I said, oh, okay, I want it on the side. It took over an hour for us to get our food, right? So then my salad comes out and the dressing does not look like a vinaigrette, it looks creamy. To my knowledge, a vinaigrette is usually like an oil based, you know, there's balsamic vinaigrette, there's raspberry vinaigrette, there's all kinds of vinaigrettes. 
they're more of an oily base. They're not creamy, unless I don't know my salad dressings. But it's a creamy salad dressing on there, and it's small as hell. It looks like it's on a little side plate. It's very small for $15. At this point, I was ready to go. I was like, just give me a box. I'm gonna put this stuff in a box. It took forever to get drinks. It took forever for everything. And then I, uh, she came back around, I said, cause every, all the other plates that came out on the table, everybody had their food. I said, uh, did you put in the order for the tostones? And she was like, tostones? No. What? So I was talking and you act like you know what I was saying, but you didn't write it down. Anyhow, uh, let me show y'all the salad. Needless to say, I didn't even eat. I put it in a box, I threw this in a box, and I got the heck up out of there. Cause I just wanted to go home at that point and I already got a headache. This is my, this is a $15 salad. I keep, this is a $15 salad. It don't even fill up the whole box. What is this dressing that's on here? Huh? What is this dressing? I don't see no asparagus. And what is this? Oh, that's a cucumber. $15 salad. With some creamy ass dressing on it. Not a vinaigrette. Am I tripping? That's not a vinaigrette, right? That's not a vinaigrette. bad that the you know the experience wasn't as pleasurable for her on her birthday and uh I wasted an outfit I wasted but it's okay uh you know what I'm not gonna I just have a headache I'm not going to be negative you know what I'm saying I'm just really hungry at this point I have a headache um so I'm just this is what dinner is about to be because it's now 11.14. We have reservations at nine o'clock. I think the food didn't come out till like 10.30. I'm trying not to be frustrated. You know, I, when, for me, I try not, I try to be very in control with my emotions. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta let, you gotta feel it, feel what you need to feel and then you gotta move on, okay? I had my little frustrations. I was driving home frustrated. I hate being frustrated. I don't like my emotions being hijacked from an outside source. Like I like to be very in control with my emotions. So, you know, I'm gonna just go woosa, make my little bit of rice and then have a good night. But. Yeah, y'all, I would, I would never recommend that restaurant. Never in a million years would. And they, the service was just terrible. And of course, those restaurants, they already get 20% off the top. Like, you're forcing me to pay this girl a tip. And she barely paid us any attention. You know what? I'm done talking about it. I'm done talking about it. So I'm going to have a good night and eat my fried rice. And I'll catch up with you all another time. Good night. So I am on my way to Cleveland, actually, to go visit my son, pop up on him, surprise him. I didn't tell him I was coming. I didn't tell anybody. So I just, I really felt like I needed to go check on my baby, see how he was doing, make sure he was okay. So um, that's where I am headed to now, on my way to the airport. <sighs> I hate that I'm traveling during this rush hour traffic, but I gotta get home to see my child. So we're going to Cleveland, going to see my son, my aunts, my grandmother, all of the things. I'm only gonna be there for a couple of days, but I gotta go check on my baby. So I'm off to the airport right now. Well, it's kinda dark. I don't know if you all can see me good, but my son's not home. I was trying to surprise him, but he's out. Um, I don't know how long he's gonna be out, so I just decided to tell him, like, I was trying to surprise you, but you're not, you're not here. So 
I'll wait till he sees my text messages and hopefully he'll be home soon. But I'm just gonna sit here and wait until he gets here. Look at her. Wait for me. <laughs> hey grandma. Yeah, it, it, it said, yeah. said the call couldn't go through. Hmm? It just kept saying the call couldn't go through. Yeah, I don't know why. I got to turn out. I got to let them know. I don't know either. Yeah, I, you, you, I didn't know it was the last time you were running to break it down. Yeah, you don't have to do all of that for me. Uh, you don't got to do all of that for me. Yeah, I don't know why. I got to turn out. I got to let them know. Yes, Grandma. That was the time you told me that's where you wanted Yeah, because you don't need to do all of that for me. Yeah, but that's as long as you got some places. Hey, Grandma. I appreciate it. I know. I know you do. So I got everything already, and you, it, it, you ain't probably need no blanket, but anyway, I got it there just in case. What mm -hmm. is that? That's my blanket that I travel with. Oh. Because it's cold on the plane. Oh, I got you. Okay. Mm hmm Well, hello, honey. Hey, Grandma. Oh, that's mine. Here, okay. I'll take it. Okay, you want me to keep it up here? No, yeah. I'll take it. It's just water. I got water. You, you, you drink a certain kind of water? Uh-uh. Okay. Because I ain't got nothing you can drink. Any kind of juice you drink? I drink juice. What kind of juice you got? Let me tell you, I got one kind of, I got three different kind of juice. <laughs> I got, oh, I need this TV on. I got, uh, and I got tart cherry. Oh, I like tart cherry. Do you really? Well, uh -huh. I got some you can drink. Uh-huh. You got that from Whole Foods, huh? Mm hmm You got that from Whole Foods? Yep. I see. So, so if you want some of that, you can have it. Okay. Do you eat chicken? No. You eat no kind of meat? No meat. Okay. Grandma, you don't got to worry about feeding me. Do you eat eggs? No. Huh? No. Okay. 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 I, yeah, I'm good. Okay. I promise you I'm fine. Yeah, if you let me come, I could have got this some milk. I can get my own milk to store right across the street. Yeah, sure, right across the street. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I said I'm okay. I'm going in here watching TV. Okay, go watch your TV, Grandma. A few minutes later. There's paper towels in, in there. Mm hmm And sanitizer, all that stuff. Okay. It's, it's, it's in, the, in, in here, okay? Okay. In case you need it. See, I, I keep all of that stuff. I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> Stay, stay up late as you want because you don't disturb me later. Mm. I won't be up late. I'm kind of tired. I don't care. Like, I'm okay. I can't believe you still be driving, Grandma. Huh? I can't believe you still be driving. I can't hear you. I can't believe you still be driving. Yeah, I'm still driving, child. <laughs> I can show sure am. And I'm going to show you something. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it. That's true. So you got to keep on doing it even if you don't. You know what I mean? That's true. I tell them all I may not can uh, uh, run, but I can show sure walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's what I do. Do you know the back way still? You know where you be going. Huh? I said, you know where you be I, going. <laughs> <laughs> I sure enough do. Why does she insist on driving me around? Look at her. She's so independent. Take your time, bro. Put your mask on. Mm -hmm. I say, yeah, get your mask on. Mm -hmm. You gonna walk around this store? Are you going around the shop too? Yeah. <laughs> you? We could go together. Okay. Yeah, don't. We could just go together. 
the car. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so my son is here to pick me up. We're gonna go grab a little bit of breakfast to an old nostalgic spot to me that I used to go to when I lived here. They don't have much vegan on the menu, but you know, I can just eat some potatoes, but I'm going for the nostalgia. But I'm so excited I get to see my baby. Oh. My grandmother is the cutest. She keeps trying to take care of me. What do you want to eat? You want me to go get you some? Grandma, she is 94 years old. I am fine. <laughs> She's so cute though. I just love her to death. Hey, honey bunny. Hi. Oh my gosh. I missed you. Give me a hug. I'll get my camera out. Hi, babe. She brought me the paper so I could see what's on TV. Instead of, the, you know, TV got a little TV guy, but she, she brought me the paper. So, let me see what's on TV. Hey, y'all. Happy day. Happy day. What's going on with me? Well, I'm back home from Cleveland. I didn't record much because... I was enjoying my family time. I was enjoying spending time with my grandmother and I was enjoying spending time with my son. And that was just a moment I wanted to live in. So I ain't got nothing for y'all as far as Cleveland goes. Secondly, oh, don't look at my nails are so bad. Look how bad my nails are. Let's get a zoom. Woo! Anyhow, uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably get these done tomorrow. But, um, mm, now that I'm back home, I got a couple of projects that I want to do. First, I noticed that my speakers in my car are not acting right. I got some subwoofers underneath my seats and it appears that they have gone out. So, side note, I had changed my speakers a couple years ago. So I know how to do it. So I'm gonna go and look underneath my seats to check those, make sure the connections is where they supposed to be and I can swap some other ones out to test whatever anyhow um I don't have the tool to get underneath my seats so I have to go to Harbor Freight to go get a little cheap little socket and wrench set so I can do that and then I want to hang some albums on the wall I want to uh oh and then I got to do some business stuff for my website so it's going to be a really light day I don't know how long it's going to take for me to take my seats up and look at my uh, subwoofers, but that's gonna be the first thing because that's probably gonna take the longest. So let's head over to Harbor Freight. Okay, so here's what we came for. These right here. But then I had to get the whatchamacallit thingy so we can go home and be Bob the Builder. Okay, back home from running all my errands and such. Got my tool ready to go to work. So, this is what I need to do. Hold up, y'all. Just sit right here with me for a second. All right. Now, this. Oh, it's a little messy under here. Hold up now. What? Where did this come from? Oh, well, look what you find in your car. I have no idea where that came from. Anyhow, let me get this little bit of trash out of here. But, basically, the subwoofer is right here, okay? So, I got to take this out, take this out, in order to get the seat off to get to this. So, that's what we're about to do. Now, like I said, I've done this before. It was a couple years ago, but I'm going to do it again to get to what I need to get to. Be right back. Uh-oh. Ooh, that one on there. Tight. There we go. 
now I forgot what you do after you take those out so let me head on over to YouTube University to do I just roll it back and then take the seat I think I roll it back and then there's okay I gotta figure this out I'll, I'll be right back okay I missed some screws there's two in the front that I gotta do too so okay so I gotta do one here and then another one over there Got 20 cents down here. I need to clean my car out. Oh, I'm close to this camera. Get in there. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Lord. That should be enough. Boom. We did it. So I have the subwoofer exposed. Now I gotta get it out and it looks like there are more screws underneath here that I gotta get to. Okay, let's play. Nothing. I done sweated my hair out. That was a job, boy. Oh. But I fixed it, I figured it out. I swapped out the old ones. I swapped out the new ones and put the old ones back in and they worked. So the problem seems to be with the new ones. So luckily they're still under warranty and maybe I can get those replaced. But right now, I just gotta run to the grocery store real quick. I am spent, boy. That took much longer than I expected it to. It took me like two hours, uh, but I am so tired. Cause so in the meantime, I was cleaning out my car since I had the seats apart. I was so it was just, it was a whole task. Done now grocery store and then I'm coming home to sit on the couch for a little bit okay so I did this I'm trying to figure out how I feel about it it's like should one go down there should I have spaced them out more I don't I I, I hmm I'm not really sure side note don't don't my hair got sweated out I was doing work I was doing stuff but, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It's like I like it, but I feel like, I don't know if one should go with that bottom part. Because I have another one. I'm going to try and see how low it's going to be and see if I like it. All right, I did a little switcheroo. Now I add it one at the bottom I think I like this but I gotta walk past it a couple of days to figure out if I really like it like I'm trying to is it too much I don't know for right now it stays it may not stay forever but I'm gonna let it ride. Like I said, I gotta walk by it a couple of times. Look at it in the daylight. See how I feel. Right now, I'm just gonna let it stay like that. To be determined. But I had to make myself something to eat because I'm freaking starving. It's 9.40 and um, I need to eat. I've been doing projects all day. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm carving pumpkins. I think I'm gonna do two. I actually got three, but I think I'm only gonna do two. Um, got a smaller one and a larger one. I did buy a kit. So I did get a little pumpkin carving kit. And then there's some extra designs. Did I really need this much? No, but I wanted to have options. I actually haven't carved a pumpkin in years. Maybe like a good eight, eight years. I'm also making some uh, veggie pot pies and I'm about to throw in the oven real quick. But yeah, first things first. They say you should carve from the bottom. Well, this is dirty, I need to rinse this off. I think this can be my surface. Um, I usually cut from, cut the top off, but I'm gonna try cutting out the bottom and see if I like how that goes. But the only thing about cutting out the bottom is I can't have it standing up. 
while I'm cutting it. I'm cutting the top. So I'm cut this top off and then uh yeah. We going up top. And I got my pumpkin cleaned out. I just gotta figure out what design I wanna do. Or do I wanna wanna do I wanna do like the skeleton, this face? Or I'm definitely gonna do the skeleton. Where's the skeleton at? Alright, here is the skeleton. All you gotta do is take that thing on there. like the ones where you used to used to trace it out and then cut I think for the next one I'm tracing I don't know how I'm tracing but oh this ain't it I prefer to trace because this paper is just ripping gonna make this real quick we'll talk about it in another video but um i found out i have a a pretty large cyst on my right ovary right my doctor did tell me or my nurse practitioner did tell me that um if i experience sudden like excruciating or you know really bad pain um it could be a possibility that the cyst has either ruptured or it's twisted and cutting off blood supply. And that would mean that's an emergency situation. You need to go get that checked out. So yesterday when I was in extreme pain, I was like, oh no, she told me about this. Is this what this is? Anyhow, I was struggling big time, big time. So I managed to pull myself together, took myself to the ER um, and yeah. It didn't rupture, it didn't twist. I don't know what happened because these cysts are hormonal. So based off of the hormone levels and based off of your cycle, I'll experience more pain like during ovulation and then uh, pain like around my menstrual cycle, which my period did just start yesterday. So the hormones, I don't know. They are speculating maybe it grew some more and I was pressing on stuff, you know what I'm saying? I, I, all I know is I was in a whole shitload of pain yesterday. Um, I'm still a little bit uncomfortable today. Nothing, nothing, nothing like I was yesterday. So there's that, but I left here and pumpkin stuff is everywhere. My food, look, let me just show y'all. So yeah. Didn't get to this one. I have eaten pot pie, pumpkin stuff in the sink. Cause I was, I was actually leaning over the sink, cleaning this one out. This is the one I did finish, but that's how the face came out. Yay. 
Look, food still. Like, it was a mess. It was so dramatic. Oh, gosh. Um, but yeah, I was actually sitting here cleaning this pumpkin out where I just couldn't do it anymore. And I went to go lay down on the couch. And I was, at first I had to, at first I was like, am I tripping? Like, I'm like, is this really hurting this bad? Like, is this pain for real? Like, I just had a moment where I just did not know what was going on. I was like, because it seemed, I'm like, do I have to, I, I, I was really talking to myself for a while. Like, do I have to go to the emergency room? Like, what is happening right now? And then, yeah, I was just like, okay, I can't, I can't take it. And anyhow, that's, that's what we are. So I just, that was just a quick update. Um, will I get to carving out of the pumpkin? I don't know. Cause today I actually have plans. I'm going on a little date. <laughs> um, but I'm going to the, um, Dave Chappelle comedy show, which I am still going to. I'm waiting for my pain medicine to get filled. So hopefully once I take something for pain, I'll feel back to, you know, self. And um, yeah, I'm going to this comedy show tonight. So I gotta pull it together. I got, I got plenty of time. It's only one o'clock, so I got a couple of hours. I was in there all night, y'all. I got there at 10. I didn't get back home till like seven o'clock all night. It was, the worst ER experience I've ever had in my life. Anyhow, we back, baby. We're gonna get it together. <sighs> and yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that real quick. Okay, real quick, because my date is outside and I'm uh, I'm uh, supposed to be ready, but here's the little fit. Boots, chunky boots, low vest, Ooh. and my purse. That's the fit. We out.